In today's video, we're opening up the new Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! set opening. We have two boxes up, Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano. The, I think it's Legendary Duelist 10. We have 10 of these Legendary Duelist sets now, which is pretty cool. And this is one that Volcanic fans have been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. But before we actually get into it, we are giving away every single card I pull in this video. Even if we pull the Ghost Rare, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Are you excited for this set and what do you want to see in future Legendary Duelist sets? All right, let's crack these things open and let's see what we can get. A double box opening. There are, I think, 36 packs in these because Legendary Duelists do 36 packs instead of 24. Uh, so this might be a little bit longer than our normal new openings because those are usually 24 times two. This is 36 times two. There are only five cards per pack though, but opening that, you know, 72 different packs can really take a lot longer even if there are less cards. I will say, I do think this box looks really, really sick. I never watched whatever anime this is with the Volcanics, so I don't know it that well. I'm guessing something pa Zexal War past that. Also, these have Volcano in the title, which is pretty exciting. So let's see what the most recent 25th anniversary set can give us. We okay, Salaman Great, I think, is the Ghost Rare. I think I'm guessing there's only one, but Salaman Great uh, Sunlight Wolf is the Ghost Rare, which is pretty cool. So Sun Salaman Great, I'm guessing, is get getting new support as well. Battle and Boxer, all right. That's interesting. That's a pretty old archetype. We have Heat Leo. We have Battle and Boxer Lead Yoke. Wait. Oh, it's a rare. Oh, yeah, it's not guaranteed supers in this. So that Salaman Great Weasel is actually probably pretty nice. He's weaseling around. What else can we pull? We have the Roar. We have the 79 Battle and Boxer Nova Kaiser. I didn't know Battle and Boxers was one of the... I think they do three archetypes, so I'm guessing Volcanic, Salaman Great, Battle and Boxer. Even when Volcanics get reprints in the set, they don't get the Ghost Rare. Getting slided yet again. Come on, Kanami. We got Foxy. We have Volcanic Rocket. That's a nice reprint because the Secret Rare of the Force of the Breaker is pretty expensive. I think it's like 100 bucks or something. Okay, I don't know if they're actually... Yeah, there hasn't been a reprint because I don't think they ever got a reprint. We got a Revive. Blaze Accelerator. Wow, good to see that. A common in Force of the Breaker as well. We have the Big Bandage. Watch out. Salaman Great All Mirage. And a Volcanic Inferno, another super. So you get a rare and a super when that happens. Very cool. I think you get up to Ultras, and that's the... Is it Ultra Ghost? Is there, there's no secrets in here, right? We have the Raging Phoenix. Speaking of Ultras, very nice. And it looks like there's a different spot, because last time we got Rare Foil, now we got Rare Foil. I wonder if it's because it's an Ultra. I'm not sure. So Pack Trick really doesn't work on these. Got to open them the old school way, which I'm sure a lot of you Pack Trick haters will love. We have Volcanic Queen. Wow, I didn't even realize that was a Volcanic card. That's like one of the first Kaijus. So uh, pretty interesting card. It also burns the user, kind of like a Lava Golem, I think. Uh, revive and Rage. Will we get something crazy like a Ghost? We have number 79. All right, I'm going to need a Ghost or at least to pull one myself as well. So we're either going to do a live or a video for that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see a live or a video for that. We have seventh force because this isn't like these are different than our normal like chase ones because it's probably in a case. Usually you get one in a case in a ghost rare uh, set when there's only one. And I think there's only one. So if we open a case like it's a very good chance we get it. So we could probably just open like one case live and most likely get it. So that's why I'm considering not doing a live because it won't be that long. But it would still be fun to do a live. I think we did it live for uh, Legendary Duelist 9 and uh, it was still a good time. So maybe we'll do that again. We have Volcanic Shell. There's a Salaman Great Burst Griffin. Ultra rare, also nice. So I don't know, let me know in the comments uh, what you wanna see for that. Also, make sure you check out yesterday's video of Volcanic Queen again. We did a top 10 most collectible sets from a, or well, top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh sets from a collector's perspective. And uh, I wanna hear what you guys think about that video. I, I did all voiceover, it was a little bit of a different style of video. Uh, and then top 10s, we've done a few top 10s over the years, but we don't do them a ton. Um, so go check it out if you guys haven't seen it yet. Started off really bad, but I think that usually happens with top 10s, so. If you guys want to see it, and I, a lot of you guys have not seen it, I know that for a fact, go give it a shot. All right, so we're still looking for something big. Oh, so far, it's been, you know, I mean, the thing about these that I don't love is that it's Ultra, then Ghost. So it makes a huge jump in rarity. Like, Ultra is kind of nice, but there should be, like, a secret in between there or something, at least. Secret, ulti, you know, something cool. Battle and Boxer. King Dempsey, is that Clint's uh, brother or something? All right. What else can we get? Can we get a ghost? Volcanic Emission. Another nice, cool volcanic card. I'm assuming these volcanic cards aren't that, like, not, it's not saying they're not good, but, like, good enough to make them, like, actually good, you know, playable in, uh, you know, like, the meta or anything. All Mirage. That's actually a nice rare. I, I We got that earlier, but that is a very solid reprint. Foxy. 
We have a, I like how it's just named Foxy. Very interesting. So far, no ghost rare. We are searching for that sunlight wolf. That'd be pretty cool. Volcanic rocket. I would love to pull it today and give it away to you guys. Be very cool. So make sure you enter the giveaway to potentially get that for one of you. A lot of new openings recently, guys. There's been so many new sets. It's insane. Like, I think it was like, it was every like two weeks we've had a new release. And then on one of those two week periods, we had the five new, not new, but the reprint sets in boxes. So five at one time. So it has been crazy. Lots of content. We have Volcanic Trooper. Very cool. Volcanics getting some support. You love this. I just feel happy for the Volcanic fans. They had to wait like it was like 1500 days or something. So whatever that is, like four or five years since the last Volcanic support. It's insane. We have a uh, battle and boxer. Very cool. We're still searching. We're still looking. The five card packs are pretty easy to blow through. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. So a new Blaze Accelerator, which is really fun. But can we get a new Ghost Rare? One I do not have for my binder. You guys know I'm collecting all the Ghost Rares. I don't have this new one. I need to pull it. We have the Volcanic Queen. We can add it to our binder, which has slowly been getting better and better. Volcanic Rocket. Come on, baby. Bless us with an epic pull. We have Volcanic, oh, Battle and Boxer promoter. He's promoting them Battle and Boxers. He's like, let's go. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, that's wrestling, Never mind. Sorry, wrong thing. We have a uh, Salamangrit Weasel. That was just for you, Sean, the wrestling reference, since I know nothing about wrestling. That was for our man, Sean, the GOAT. We have a uh, Salamangrit, circle speaking of Sean, Pokerux. Polk Rocks making a new video that's coming out soon, full run. The flying video did pretty well. It was like almost 900 views, which is incredible for that channel. So if you guys have not checked that one out, go check it out. Polk Rocks has been putting out a lot of content, Salamangrate. And I'm aiming for 10K subs by the end of the year. It's very ambitious. I know we're at 3K right now, but uh, I'm hoping with the high quality content we're putting out, it could maybe, you know, get a little lucky, get a little traction. Plus, I'm hoping you guys will support if you would like. And we're going to do a big giveaway at the end of the year if we do get to that 10K. So go check out Pokerux, my Pokemon channel. And now let's get back to speaking of new, the new set. Volcanic Doomfire. Oh, I'm not going to get that one wrong this time. It is not the Doomfire Dragon. Volcanic Doomfire, baby. Moist Critical's favorite card. He loved it. <laughs> I, I, I blew that out of proportion, but he did think that card sucked. It was really funny. Okay. Are we like halfway through probably? Maybe a little bit less? Volcanic Commission, or a little bit more, I should say. 36 packs per box is a lot. Salamangra Raging Phoenix, cool. Does Sunlight Wolf have a reprint besides the ghost or is it just the ghost? It seems like it's just the ghost. I can't remember, how do they normally do that? Did the, what was the XC's card they reprinted? It was the Silent Honor Arc, I don't remember the number. Uh, did that have another card in the set or was it just the ghost here? Hmm, the one before that was the crystal. That one had a ultra or a secret. I, no, no secrets in there. So yeah, it had an ultra printing maybe. The crystal clear wing synchro dragon or whatever. And Legendary dual estate. Seven force. Okay, I can't remember exactly. I really can't. We have the Salamander Transcendence, the Battle of Boxer, Volcanic Queen. Very, very cool. I don't know a lot about the set. Obviously, it's three new archetypes. Uh, that's what they normally do with Legendary Duelists which they used to do five, I believe, and then they switched it down to three. So they can, I guess, focus more on the ones that they have. Salaman Great of Fire. The thing about these, it's kind of an interesting because they always do pretty well, or not always, but a lot of times they do really well with these Legendary Duelist sets because people like the Legendary Duelist. The problem is when they get reprinted, the values of these cards get crushed because there's no high rarity, as I mentioned earlier. It's all ultra super rare, except the one Ghost Rare. So when this gets reprinted in Legendary Duelist season, whatever it's going to be, I guess that'd be five technically if they do two each. Um, all the like nice cards will be in Secret Rare and you just want those. I did that same thing with Magician Souls. I had the Ultras that I bought for like $150 each, if you guys remember that, in the Dark Magician 4K deck purchase like two years ago. Then they printed the Secrets, which were like 20 or 30 or 40 bucks instead of 150 and I just wanted the Secrets because they looked way better. So that's the problem with these sets, but uh they're still pretty cool i mean they're cool like when they come out just the, you have to be wary of the reprints coming because the reprints will significantly hurt the value the sealed boxes though they stay up there the sealed boxes are expensive on these older sets like when you talk about magical hero and uh more what was it immortal destiny the one with the bakura on it those are both like super expensive and then the first couple like pegasus one the uh i forget oh the blue eyes one of course yeah the, the kaiba one is crazy so they really like age well in terms of the boxes but the singles get crushed which is kind of how Yu-Gi-Oh works like the boxes sealed is like their own collectible which you know you kind of have to mention uh but when you open them up there's not a lot of value to be had because of these or all the commons are and not common but the cards have been reprinted so that's just kind of how that works a lot of the time but it's usually not 
for, I mean, we're on Legend Duelist Season 3 right now, so we're a couple iterations away, probably like a year or two away from those getting those reprints. Soul Burning Volcano. So far, I think this is really cool artwork on a lot of these, and the archetypes are kind of up my alley. I just like the look of them. They look really dope. Like, I mean, Volcano, how can you go wrong with that? We're only down the last few packs. That went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I guess I was just kind of cruising through there. Soul Burning Volcano. Few packs left. We have the Battle and Boxer Switch Hitter. We got the Salamang Grade, Mergestalio, Almirage, and Blaze Accelerator with the... I always forget this is a Salamang Grade card. It's just so generically good that I forget that Salamang Grade. Okay. Few packs left. Can we pull this? Uh, I, I just wish I knew who this duelist was on the front. Battle and Boxer. We have Battle and Boxer Shadow. <sighs> Battle and Boxer Uppercutter. Watch out. That's a nice ultra. A lot of ultras have been pulled. I think you usually get five to six per box. But I'm, it's been a while since I've owned Legendary Duelist. I think that's right. Not a guaranteed ghost, about one per case. We have not gotten one in two boxes, but there are still five packs left. Still some hope. I hope we can do it here. If Salamander at Sanctuary, Volcanic, Volcanic Rocket. Stop being great circle. Okay, okay, not that time. Four packs left, guys. Will we see the link? We need to see the link on the side because the link is the ghost rare. We have, ooh, not a link. We have a number 105, Battle of Boxer Star Cessus. This is like a super one of the, it's like a 5Ds or a Zexel. I think a Zexel set. Yeah, it can't be 5Ds because it's 6Ds. I think it's a Zexel set and uh, it's pretty expensive. It was like a $4 super. So that makes sense that that got a reprint. And it's Battle of Boxer, obviously, you know, one of the reprinted. Shell, we have a, ooh, Bay Lynx, and a Volcanic Emission. Watch out for those, very, very dangerous. Gazelle, two packs to go, guys. Here we go. We can do this. Glass Jaw, pretty cool card. 2K attack, try blaze Volcanic Rimfire, the rim is on fire. And Flaming Air Foul. Final pack of this new opening. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Check out Sassy Idol's link down below and use my code for 5% off. You guys want to grab some of this for yourself as well. Here we go. Last pack. I think you can do one from the back, just for a little suspense. We have Battle and Boxer, Cheat Commissioner. Stop cheating, Commissioner. Last counter. Jack Jaguar. It's going to be the last card. We have the Salaman Great Charge. Will it be the ghost in the last pack for you guys? Here we go. Oh, the Blaze Accelerator Reload. It is not a ghost rare. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will be giving away every card, so don't forget to enter the giveaway. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, JT Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto, Deanna, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tie Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.